On the first night of Hanukkah a couple days ago, the New York Times published a crossword in the shape of a swastika. This is obviously bizarre in and of itself, but what makes the story more unsettling is the fact that things like this have happened before. In 2017, there was public outrage after this crossword shape was released. And even as far back as December of 2014, one guy noticed that the mini puzzle was shaped like a swastika. This guy remembers saying to himself, I'm no conspiracy theorist, it kind of looks like a pinwheel too, it's probably just a coincidence. But he got worried when he started actually filling out the crossword and the answer to the first column was Jew. I was like, there's no way that can be true. So I went back through the puzzle archives and this is what it looked like. That is what? Now in 2017, people were so mad that they released a tweet saying, hi, yes, it's not a swastika, we're sorry. And in 2014, same thing. They were like, we don't think the author had any malintent. Spiral patterns are just super common in crosswords. Which like, fine, but haven't you learned your lesson? This guy tweeted a few years ago, the New York Times upset people by publishing a crossword that looked vaguely like a swastika. To rectify this, they published a new crossword today that looks exactly like a swastika. Right? Like what? How can you make this mistake twice?